We are currently busy with the series here on Websites for Beginners about images from the Knowledge Vault. And though we will be looking at plugins for image optimization in the future, I am going to quickly, well, quickly, in a relative quick time, show you about WP Compress. And the reason why I'm jumping ahead of what I want to do in the following weeks with the Image Knowledge Vault series is because these guys are launching their lifetime limited plan. And once this is done, there will never be the lifetime option again. So for you guys that are looking for an optimization plugin, I'm just giving you this shout out and this heads up so that you have an idea that there is another plugin on the market and I'm going to show you how it works. You can have a look, you can go test it, and then you can decide if you want to grab the lifetime deal, which will only be running till the end of January. So it's like a new year special. Go check it out, 99 for life. So make sure you live a long and prosperous life. What I'm going to do from the very beginning now is to show you just exactly how this works. And then after that, we can talk a little bit about the features that come with WP Compress. Yes, there are many other plugins too. And like I said, this is scheduled for the future that we'll be looking at them. But because of this lifetime deal, I just want to give you this overview so that if you think in the future, hey, you know, that was a good deal. I shouldn't have missed it. Well, you know, that's how lifetime limited specials work. When it's gone, it's gone. This is what we do. You sign up and you go to your portal. That is the first thing you do. Then from your portal, the next thing you do is you add a website. Now I've got a website over here that I've made in Divi. It's called thecosmiccafe.net and I'm going to grab that link. Then I'm gonna go back into my portal and I'm going to say, add this website. First thing they will tell you is to download the plugin. I'm gonna click on that and I've already downloaded it. Now, at this moment, I've got 50 images to play with. So depending on the plan that you will buy, you will have more. From here, you will assign a quota to your site to make sure that your site doesn't go over a quota, especially if you are working with a client's site. Here, you can regulate how many of these credits are you assigning to a client's site. So you download that, you assign the client or the amount of images for the site, and then you say next step. After you have selected the next step, it will give you an API key. Before we then use this API key, we've downloaded the plugin. Let's go upload the plugin on our WordPress site. Let me just quickly show you what this site is about. I've not really done much here. Which home is it? Could be this one or that one. And what is going on with this site, I have only one page basically with this display here, lots of images. And if we look in our media folder, you will see the following images appear here. Now let's go upload our plugin. We say add new, upload plugin and choose file. Click on WP Compress Image Optimizer and then you install it. Install now. Great, we have installed it and then the normal procedure, same procedure as last year, activate the plugin. And once activated, you will see that this WP Compress bar appears at the top. Not much I have to do here, but remember, we still need to put in our API key. So now go here, double click and copy, and then go over to plugins, WP Compress. And then the first thing we are going to do is activate that API key for our website. You have successfully connected to the compression cloud. To make sure now that the connection has been that successful as they claim it to be, you go back to the app dashboard and you click next. That's step three. And you do the following. Click on test connection. This will now make a link with your website and your host, making sure that everything is connected because the portal will have direct access to your images. Your website is successfully connected. Happy compressing. And now it's time to rock and roll. Let's go back. Actually, everything that I'm going to be showing you on this side of the site can all be done from the dashboard remotely as well. 
But let's go into the WordPress site because it will give you a better understanding of how it works. Now you will see these figures appear here because I had tested it earlier. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to show you this is an entire new set of pictures. They've not been compressed by me, probably by the people who made it, but they are brand new images that we can get to play around with. So the only thing you're going to do here is you're going to say compress all images. But before we do that, let me just show you a few things. There is a setting here for resize images. Any image that goes over 2048 pixels will be downsized to a resolution of 2048 and then compressed. You can choose between optimization levels. There are three, lossless, which is not really going to benefit you unless you are working with high detailed images that you want to present to clients or to customers on your site, then you may go for lossless. Intelligent is the recommended one, but if you really want to squeeze the living daylights out of it, you go for ultra and that will compress it and optimize it even more. All we are going to do is leave it on intelligent. Then we're going to go to compress all images and it will say, first going to check, dude, do you have enough money? Then ready to optimize all the images. Yeah, I'm ready. Do you want to be notified? So notified me when complete, I want to say yes. They will actually send me an email, lucky me. And then you say, go ahead, Bob, optimize all the images. They're going to scan the media library and then they're going to optimize them. You're going to sit back for a while, depending on how big your library is and then they're going to send you an email and say, it's done. Click on off here and let's give them a little bit of time. Right, so in total 16 images, 48 images of my quota remaining, and well, it's 35, 1% savings that we've got there. Let's go have a look in the media library. What is going on? What has happened there in the media library with WP Compress? To view that, you have to click on go to list mode. And this will show you how the image displayed previously. And you can see these guys are still busy. Over here, if you then look at logo O2, 9% savings have been attributed to the resolution. It was at 1.53 kilobyte, which is already nothing. <laughs> and now it's at 1.39. Let's look at this image over here, logo 04. It was at 414 kilobytes, reduced to 364. And here you can see the percentages very nicely, how much optimization was applied to each of these images. The bigger the image, it's gonna take some time. And when everything is done, you will see these little reports for all of these images. Let's go back to WP Compress, give it some time to work through all of those images. And then after this, I will go and upload a very big image and we see what WP Compress does with it. While those images are running in the background, let me give you a few features of WP Compress which you can take into consideration. Let's go to the main website again, which is wpcompress.com. And here are the features that you can take into consideration if you are thinking, do you wanna grab this lifetime deal before January 31st? There's an autopilot and that means it will do it automatically. Well, that's not rocket science. The other thing is they use cloud image optimization. We optimize all images in the cloud to minimize the impact on your server's performance. There's detailed reporting, we'll have a look at that. There's monthly quotas for clients, over compression prevention, thumbnails, resize for the web, backup of original images. The original images are securely backed up and only the optimized images are stored on your server to save you space. And that allows you to restore the original image at a later time if you do wish to do so, and then live chat support. So these are all the features that you can take into consideration if you are comparing WP Compress to other plugins. As I said, the only thing that is ticking is the lifetime deal that is about to run out within three weeks time. Let's go back and see what has happened in our media library. Everything has been completed. Nicely done, you can review it if you want to restore it to the original. Look at this image over here, a total optimization of 83% and you can restore it. It was at 230 kilobytes, it's down to 40 kilobytes. Look at these percentages, very nice, 74, 76. When we talk about image optimization plugins, I cannot and I will not give you the definite answer, go for this one or go for that one. It really depends a lot on the image you use 
And it's often a very tricky thing because one plugin may do wonders for one image, but not for another one. And then if you test it on a second plugin, you're going to get reverse results. So you have to go through it and you have to look at your budget. You have to look at your requirements and your needs. And from that, you decide, do I want this kind of image optimization plugin? And which one do I want? Let's bring in a humongous image and then let's see what does WP Compress do with it without me doing anything before the time. Actually, I'm going to Pixabay and I'm going to my own site on Pixabay. I'm going to download a texture. I think I uploaded here a few years ago and it's a free download, of course, Pixabay. And I'm going to choose the Big Mama, this one over here at 10.3 megabytes and then just click download. This is quite a big file. Let's go back to media library and we say add new. Right, so let's begin uploading that image that I had downloaded this texture one over here and uploading it. Before we go into the media library, I just want to go back to the WP Compress plugin. We can have a good overview now of the final data of all the optimization that has been done to our images. In total, we saved on one page 3.5 megabytes. That is pretty impressive. What I want to change here is that I am going to compress that big photo we just uploaded. And what it will do is because the size is currently at 5472, it will reduce that to 2048. But I want to reduce it more. I think I can, I can get away with more. I'm just going to use a number like 1440, bring it to something reasonable that can still work. And I'm going to leave that there. So after I have done that, and now I'm actually in the app dashboard, let's go back here and I'm just going to type it in here because I'm not sure when it's going to sync. Let's leave it here, the resize images at 1440. Now go to media, go to our library, and we go grab that texture that we had downloaded from Pixabay. And you will see the others are all ready. They've been done. There's a restore button. You can do that or a reset button for them. For this one, no compression has been applied and you can now compress it by yourself. All you need to do, because you don't have that many options, is to press this button. You can also choose exclude, which means this image will remain at the size it is currently and it will not be compressed together with the other images. So let's have a look here. 5472, that is our current dimensions for our width. 5,472 pixels, and it is at 9.85 megabytes. Let's click Compress, and then let's see what WP Compress does with this huge image. Voila, 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 voila. That looks good. It's exactly at 1440, as I had said it, and look how much it has reduced it. That's a reasonable amount, you know, I would love to get it below 200. That's always my goal. But we're talking about a pretty big image with a lot of detail here, and it is a good quality image. So this is a fairly nice amount of compression done from a nine megabyte picture. Let's just wrap it up so that you have an overall idea of what is going on. WP Compress is a plugin, but it links to your account on their portal. Here is everything. So if I go back now to my dashboard, we should see everything that has happened on the website here as well. Here at the bottom is my website, my API key. It says I have this many images optimized. This is the file sizes I've done, savings, etc. And I don't think it's 175. Remember, I said I've tested it before. So it's the same website. They're going to keep that data in there. The nice thing is if you have many clients and you use them, you will be able to monitor the quotas from here. You can get detailed reports for every website that you work with. You can say this month, last month, all month. And that is what makes this a very nice feature that you can have the integration with the portal as well as the plugin. The plugin allows you to choose between three settings. You can go for lossless, which is going to give you high quality Intelligent is going to be, well, what they want you to get the best quality with good optimization and Ultra will compress it even more and you may lose a little bit of quality. 
The last thing is that if you don't want to go and click every time on compress all images or go do the manual optimization, you just click here on autopilot mode. And then in the future on upload, every time you upload a photo, WP Compress will do that automatically. The proof is in the pudding. And I think, you know, a lot of these optimization, image optimization plugins, they do all a very good job. It is different strokes for different folks. The only reason I'm showing you this at this moment and not in the course in the coming weeks is because there's a lifetime deal going on. I hope you have a good idea of what this plugin and what this service does. If you're interested, please follow the affiliation link in the description below. Go check out that lifetime deal. This is JB with Websites for Beginners.